Hello traders, FS Pep Collector here. Today is Wednesday, May 10th, and this is my analysis of the Euro Yen starting on the monthly time frame and working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly Euro Yen, I still believe that this is gonna end up all the way up here at the 165 area, which is the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A projected off the bottom of what I think is an ABC of B. So I expect that this still has a decent amount of upside potential. So let's keep that in mind while we head down to the weekly. Now on the weekly time frame, you can see the last ABC correction. You can see that we have been making higher highs, higher lows ever since then. Our last structure level is way down here, so that tells me that this move down is almost definitely a correction to this last move up, and I do believe that it will end up continuing the uptrend. So let's take it down to the daily time frame. Daily time frame, this is the most recent ABC right here, and then it's been making higher higher highs, higher lows ever since that point. This is the last structure level, so the trend is definitely still up on this time frame also. I still expect that this move down is going to be a correction, and I still expect that this will end up continuing the uptrend. Now, today is CPI news for the U.S. dollar, and the dollar news does usually affect the yen pairs, so we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on this today around that CPI news. So, going down to the four-hour time frame, four-hour time frame it looks like impulsive down maybe a wave A. This kind of looks like an A and then three waves down for a B. I think it's going to end up going up for potentially a wave C of B. But even though it looks like it should be a wave C of B, we do have to be a little bit cautious because it very easily could just keep on drifting up rather than going down and make a wave C like you would expect. Now it does look like it needs to go up for the C of B and then back down for the wave C. But like I said, it very easily could just keep on drifting up. So let's head down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame is where you can see the higher highs, higher lows that make up what I think is an A. This looks like an A, B, C of B. And I do expect that it is going to go up and make a wave C. Now if this goes up and makes a wave C and then makes an impulsive move down, takes out structure, that's what will tell us that it is a wave C and that it's heading back down to make the bigger wave C like I was showing on the four hour time frame. But on the other hand, if it just keeps going up and never takes out structure, it to the downside that tells me that this is probably not an ABC but it's actually probably a one two three so if that's the case then we would just keep on going long at the end of every single pullback that we may see especially on these sort of time frames so I do expect that we're gonna make a push up for either wave C or wave three the difference is a wave C will break struts to the downside and continue the down move a wave three may make some big pullbacks along the way but it will never break struts to the downside and it'll just keep on making higher highs and higher lows. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.